Hey, we're on uh, still here at the Hollywood Expo, and uh, I tell you what, there's a guy that I've uh, really uh, admired and followed for a while, and I keep promising to help him out and, and do a story on their whole group, one of the best fan films around, The Farragut. They've really been active. They're churning out story after story. They have a great bit. They have their own sets now built down in the southeast. And anyway, I caught a few minutes here at Hollywood Expo with none other than Mr. John Broughton. Oh, John, there you are. Poster for me, anyway. Yeah. Hey, man. How you doing, Larry? <laughs> we're doing good. I'm glad we're finally getting to uh, do a piece for my Trekland blog here about the Farragut. You've been asking me, and I've been meaning to, and here we are finally. I didn't even expect you to be. I didn't even realize you were going to be at Expo until uh, until I saw a few oh, a few okay. weeks ago, and mm -hmm. I said, okay, we'll have to hook up for sure here because you our home base is down the southeast at. Uh, well. We're headquartered in Washington, D.C., but our sets, oh, okay, okay. our permanent standing sets, our yeah. Studio One is located in a place called St. Mary's, Georgia, which yeah. is 35 miles north of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh -huh. It's right off I-95. It's right on the border where Florida and Georgia meet. Oh, okay. That's some commute, though, huh? From D.C., <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. But it's in a beautiful place. I mean, oh, yeah, St. Mary's, yeah, Georgia yeah, is probably yeah. the best-kept secret <clears throat> on the East Coast. I mean, it's it's beautiful weather. It's, it's um, right on... on on the coast, so um, yeah, you're looking. Yeah. It's a tourist, yeah, tourist yeah, attraction. Yeah. Well, what, um, how did you want? Do you have a, a lot of your group is down there, or you had we a, do. They had a friend that had the space, or well, <clears throat> you mean in terms of of why you're in D.C. and it's down in Georgia? Well, when we first started our project, we were trying to find a place that we could erect our sets and leave them up permanently. Right. When we would film, we would have our sets. We would uh, find a place, temporary place, to put them up, film, tear down, and put them in storage. Yeah. So sets such as the bridge and the transporter room are too problematic to be moving like that. So yeah. we were looking for some period of time. And as you can imagine, real estate is prime in the D.C. area. So we had to venture out and look other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Holly Bednar, one of our producers, um, contacted a friend of hers who was a realtor in the St. Mary's area. Mm -hmm. And she put us in touch with a guy named Bill Gross of W.H. Gross Construction Company. And they had a facility that would meet our, our oh, okay. space requirements as well as our... Um, limited funding in terms of yeah, paying for yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it would worked out all around. It worked but they, out. Yeah, for the space and the ability to exactly. have that flexibility and exactly. permanency with it. Yeah. yeah. But and you got, yo, go ahead. I, I was going to say, we have now, we have, we had a, a dedicated group of volunteers in the DC area as well as other people right, throughout. Right. But now we have a dedicated um, Georgia and Jacksonville area volunteers that work on our sets and are dedicated to the project. Oh, okay. So you've got so, some. You got some community theater folks down. <laughs> well, no, these are these are people I mean, that local. work on our sets. I mean, I meant I meant in a man. I didn't mean literally. Oh yeah, no, yeah, we've yeah, got yeah. people that help. They're with from costumes the area, and, yeah. And um, and any you know actors and yeah, you yeah. name it. There. Oh, yeah. And you all have been around for. I mean, I hope people have known because you've been online and downloadable. And you've got how many done? How many? We have full four episodes? live action films. Yeah. And two. Yeah. Um, and, and two of our DVDs are not here, but we have for one of a nail rock in a hard place, uh -huh. and, this is and our animated episode, which is two 30-minute yeah. animated episodes oh, okay. of our live-action series. Okay, yeah, yeah, and uh, donations appreciated. Yes. This is still a fan film. Yeah. Yes. You've got a lot of good help and a lot of skilled help and uh, people working on things. Yeah, How many? So, so you've got. Uh, you said you're about to start shooting again. Have some events oh, coming up. Yeah, yeah, we're we're getting ready to film right after Thanksgiving our next our fifth episode called The Price of Anything, uh -huh. and we will be filming that all in all in St. Mary's. Mention we have a three quarter bridge. Um, mm -hmm. We have uh, shuttlecraft, transporter room, a corridor with the captain's um, quarters, turbo mm -hmm. lift, and they're all connected. So the illusion of walking through the ship is going to be there, there for, yeah. the, um, and it's for good both for the walk actors and as well as people coming to see the yeah. sets. Good for the walk and talk scenes. Yes. Yeah. And then you, you're, you're here at this convention, you guys get out to some of the... Like you're, where, where all of you, where are you have some upcoming conventions where people can see you live? Yeah, I know there's the we're doing. I know in February right. we're both doing um, the uh, Farpoint Convention in Baltimore, Maryland, mm -hmm. as well as Trek Tracks, a new the new spinoff convention right. that will be in Atlanta, Georgia, right, right, same right. same weekend. 
Oh, oh they're both the same weekend. Yeah. Oh, but we'll okay. be at both, both events. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, excellent. Well, what... Uh, so, for anybody seeing this around the country, around the world, go to what's your website? Starshipfarragut.com. And yeah, you can go to yeah. YouTube um, to download them or to view them yeah, for free. Yeah, yeah. And you've been pretty intact since the beginning? Yeah, we've been consistently progressing. Um, it's been, we've been working earnestly on getting these sets done. Yeah. So, there's, there's you. This is Holly, and you, you do the conceit of a whole of the Farragut is its own characters, its own ship, oh, new ship, new crew, mm -hmm. new adventures. Right, but all exactly the way it was, you know, forty plus years ago. Costumes, sets, props, exactly the way they were um, forty plus years ago. Right from the from the so, Kirk era. Yeah. So we're making classic Trek now. Yeah. Yeah, and had good response. Mm -hmm. And this is how many years? That's what I meant five, to say. It's over five. Yeah. yeah it came up with the idea in, in the sum, no October November of not of, of 2004. Yeah. And, um, but, yeah. Yeah. Over You're one of the old men of the mountain as far as the fan <laughs> films go now. Uh, not Johnny Come Lately's at all. Right. Yeah. Anyway, well, best of luck. I'm, fine. I'm glad we finally got some got a video chat going and. Yeah. Um, Thank you for doing this, and, and yeah, you know, feel yeah, free yeah. to come down. If okay. not the open house event, you know, welcome to come down mm -hmm. during um, um, Trek Tracks. Right, right, right. And if somebody wanted to get in touch about either supporting or being involved, go yeah, to the website um, or what? Our we website, do? Holly Bednar, is our. She handles. She's in terms of the project. She's our director of casting and HR mm -hmm. issues. So. Um, all volunteers that want to work with us, we have a vetting process and they contact her mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. we'd love to have the support. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. Well, good to see you again and, um, and uh, best of luck and I hope to get down to the sets soon sometime myself. Great. Okay. Thank you, Larry. Okay, John, sure thing. Right. Uh -huh.